Yes lads, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another player review. We've got the man himself, 88 Jamie Vardy. We're planning on getting maybe three or four reviews out for the day. Um, we just got a review out on 84 Second Inform Bamba. That is up on the channel if you want to check that out. He is a brilliant card. But today we've got the man himself, Jamie Vardy. Sadly, I am an Arsenal fan and Jamie Vardy always seems to score against us. He literally he gives me nightmares. He gives all Arsenal fans, or for that matter, basically all Premier League fans nightmares. He is insane when you are facing him so i reckon i'm very excited to try this card out there is some flaws with this card but i can already tell before you get into this review if you guys are new you know what to do it's completely free and a sub does go a long way so what we're gonna do hop over to player bio attributes uh the custom tactics then hop in to the gameplay also let me know down below what you think of a webcam we're gonna start trying something new we've been starting to use a webcam but when we play in the gameplay we just have raw gameplay so with no webcam so let me know do you want a webcam or no webcam Cam. Webcam seems to go down better. I think people do like that more, but we will just see how this goes. But starting off, 5 foot 10 with high, high work crates is preferred for is right. And I can already tell the free star, free star. It's going to be a yikes. You'd need, I'd honestly say, four star skill moves is more important than weak foot this year. I don't know what it is, but skill moves just are so effective. So, so effective. And weak foot, yes, it's still important. Last year, it was always, you need 4 star, 4 star, or else they're not usable. So we will see how the 3 star, 3 star does come into play, but if you can get it on his right foot, he would not disappoint. For the chemistry style, you could go with a hunter, you could go with a hawk, but we'll be going for an engine. The reason being, I mean, you need a little pace boost, 90 pace going to 95, 97 acceleration with 94 sprint speed, you really want that pace boost, but his shooting, the important shooting stats, his shooting is only 88 because his 67 long shots bring it down so much. If his 67 long shots weren't a thing, he'd have like 91 shooting, you know what I mean? So. An engine or his shooting in general is already good enough. You don't need an upgrade on that. 94 positioning, 94 finishing, 90 shot power, 85 volleys, and 87 penalties. Why would you need an upgrade on that? Because he is absolutely incredible shooting as it is. It's just a long shot. So like I said, bringing it down. He also gets a really nice passing boost. A plus 5 short pass. His long passing is dreadful of 52. But not that that matters. As a striker, I do pass quite a bit with a short pass. So 79 short passing is good. 82 curve. 83 crossing and 84 vision with the boost applied. But the dribbling, the main reason an engine is huge, he goes to 88 balance and 80 agility. 75 agility, 78 balance, being 5'10 with his body type, he's not going to turn great. So that 80 agility and 88 balance will come in huge. He also goes to 90 dribbling, 90 composure, 84 ball control, and 93 reaction. So I feel like an engine, without a doubt, is going to be the best chem style for him. His stamina is fine. His strength of 70 is more than enough for a striker, and he's got some lovely aggression as well. As for traits, if they were going off in real life, he literally should have a finish shot and outside of foot shot trait. But I feel like EA do not watch uh, football often. But either way, boys, this car looks incredible. Like I said, the high, high work rates as well is quite realistic. He will literally be everywhere throughout the pitch. But for the custom tactics, we will then hop into the video. We go to defensive. He is a 4-4-2. And we have him on stay central, get him behind. And as for attack with a 4 triple 2 he is stay central, get him behind on stay forward. Easy does it, he's going to stay central, and he's going to make runs in behind the defense to just be for one goal, and hopefully bag it home. Let's get into the Vardy review, coming in at 270,000 coins, is he worth it? Always a team we will be facing, it's a solid team, he's got Rio Ferdinand is huge in that team. It's uh, your basic sweaty Premier League team, like literally the most meta thing you can get, compared to mine. This is miles better. Full untradeable, according to his name. Full untradeable team. That Rio and Varane will be very hard to get past, but let's get into it, boys. So we're going to start off defensive. Vardy straight away. Okay, so if Julian Balance, he feels that, yeah, that engine is going to help him out so much. But the long pass, or the sh that's like a short pass, long pass, shot power combined with that one. I'm, I really like his Julian Balance. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Go on to Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy, a nice heel to heel. He's still going. We've got Beckham, who he shouldn't play as a right cam because he's just not suited for that role. Back to Vardy. Heel to heel. Going through. He's still going through here. Going to go nice around. Imagine we could have got that through. That would have been you. Just no penalties. Down in a box. No penalty. Didn't really pay attention. I just looked back and he was on the ground. Um, but I feel like his Julian balance isn't as bad as I thought it would be. So, we'll see. 
to Vardy, drops back for that, the high high work rate, so I wasn't expecting him to drop back for that one, honestly. Vardy here, quick touch, that's a really good pass actually, boom, back through to Vardy, Vardy going around, he's still got it, he's still got it, there's no penalty there either. First one's not a penalty, but that one, I'm trying to go through and he's just getting pushed off the ball, I, I don't know, maybe it's a penalty, maybe not, I don't know, it'll be, it'll be a soft penalty to give away, but... I don't know, EA's not doing me any justice. Anna to Dybala. Through to Vardy, Vardy time back for Dybala, Dybala going through, Dybala, can you finish it? He can too. That's an assist for Jamie Vardy already, come on. Is he going to quit? What are you doing quitting? 13 minutes, he's not going to quit. But that is an assist for Jamie Vardy. Come on, son, already on the goal slash assist sheet. Come on, oh, what's he doing? I don't know what my opponent's doing, but come on, Vardy, son. Come on, that's good, good, very good from Dybala, but still Vardy with a huge part. As you can see, he was originally a striker. He actually pushed out to like the right mid position to receive the pass. Saw Dybala making that run, gives a through ball. Once again, the high, high work crates cross with that positioning is really nice from Vardy there. Come on, boys, 1 0. Don't know what my opponent's doing. Maybe he's trying to get in my head by pausing. Maybe he's bringing subs on. We never know. Anna, someone that I wouldn't really want as a center mid. I actually kind of forgot to sub him off. Give that to Vardy. Vardy, a nice pass. You see, his long passing, I can tell, is not going to be great. But the short passing from, obviously, short distance is actually really nice with Vardy. And I can find that's quite effective. Go on, Vardy. Make the run. Vardy actually wins it back. It's just for Ran. You can't do much, Vardy. Give that through to Dybala. The pass, it's jammy, but it has worked. Let's cross that over. Vardy, Jamie, Vardy running into space. We'll try, we're aiming near post. Very unlucky to miss here. We were aiming near post. Go on, Dybala. Vardy, Vardy back through to Beckham, back through to Vardy, my opponent is playing some of the most boring FIFA I've ever played, I can't lie, he's just passing it around my box waiting for me to bring a uh, defender out, which I'm not going to fall for his trap, come on, let's build up play, come on Vardy, Vardy, we're going to time that for Dybala, Dybala, that's perfect, back into Vardy, really poor cross from uh, Dybala, but once again, Vardy is in that box, he's ready for it, if we could have gotten that through, it's going to be half time, I, I need to make some changes, I can't lie, I'm not feeling Vardy's strength at the moment, so I'm going to make some changes. That's actually really good from Vardy. Let's bang that down. Really nice uh, ball recovery from Vardy there. So, I, I feel like he gets pushed off the ball very easily. So, I don't know. He's already gotten an assist. My opponent has got more possession. But like I said, he's literally just passing it around, keeping it away from me. So, it's quite boring. But what I'm going to do... Is we are actually going to change formations, lads. We are going to go to a 4 1 2. 1 2. And we're going to bring down Arthur as a CDM. We're going to have Insigne as a cam. We are going to have Beckham as a centre mid. And we are going to try sub. We're going to sub Lilana off for uh, Wijnaldum. So, what we're going to do is I just feel like he gets pushed off more. So, instead of everyone feeding the ball into him, He's going to be, well, first of all, we're moving sides because I feel like my opponent, it's his Varane at right striker, so I want to try out Vardy against Rio. We just say that in time as well. So we're going to try out a new formation, and I feel like this way, we've switched positions for, uh, with Vardy and Dybala. So we'll see what side Vardy's better on. Usually, I actually like playing right-footed players on the left so they can cut them side and finish it on their right. So that's what we're doing with Vardy. Let's see if the formation change and the position change for Vardy will affect him. We just swapped strikers around so we will see uh, how it pays off. So let's, let's go. Let's hope for the best. But like I said, I'm really liking Vardy. Other than that, his work rate is good. Vardy's still going. Get that through. I wasn't expecting him to get that through. He's got like 55 long passing. That is bullshit. That is a brilliant, brilliant uh, pass. I... I really wasn't expecting him to get that. Through to Vardy. Nice fake shot in. Fake shot once again. Vardy. I'm going to get that out wide. That is really nice. Vardy, go and run into that. Come on, Vardy, son. This is your chance. This is your chance against Rio. You do a nice ball roll. Still with it now. Vardy, another ball roll. Faint. Unlucky back to Vardy. Can't get it. AI blocks, bro. It's AI blocks. He actually gets that pass through as well. It's really good. My opponent is, once again, he's playing a lot of players forward. But he's got quite a few back as well, which I believe is for his, is his formation. So, Vardy once again. Nice roulette around. Dude, look at this. It is literally, you can't break it down. Vardy. 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 Who cares? Vardy can, boys. Come on, Vardy, son. That is huge. 
a goal and an assist. Jamie Vardy, that is huge. Absolutely huge. Come on, bro. Come on, that is beautiful. No one can break him down except Jamie Vardy can. Yeah, the formation didn't even change, boys. So for the remainder of the match, let's, let's try that. I didn't get rid of it in time. So for the remainder of the match, let's uh, try that out and actually see. Hopefully it will change this time. Play Vardy on the left, but... That is incredible from Vardy, and that's what I mean. He was actually in the position of the left striker, so that's what I mean. Having a right-footed striker play on the left, they can cut inside and finish it like that. That is absolutely huge. Come on, Jamie Vardy. A goal and an assist involved with both our goal contributions. Massive from Vardy, boys. Massive. Go on, Vardy. Vardy. You see Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum takes that touch really nicely. Come on. If Wijnaldum can bag this, that is an assist for Jamie Vardy. Maybe not the player you'd want in front of goal, but robbed of a second assist. Robbed of a second assist. Come on, can we score from that? No, we can't. Falls back to Sanchez, though. It's very jammy. My opponent's definitely not scoring two in this amount of time. That'll be my famous last words before he scores now and then a kickoff goal, but we'll just have to see. Boys, it is full time. 2-0. And we take it. Absolutely insane from Vardy. There's a lot of uh, points to take from this, so we'll look over his goal and his assist, or our two goals, and then we will go into the pros and cons. He gets given an 8.5, obviously picking up a goal and an assist, two goal contributions in one game. So let's hop over to his match highlights. Starting off with his first goal with Dybala, it was very hard pacing my opponent. He was a very boring player to face. As you can see, as I was saying, Vardy is a right striker. He's in the right mid position right now. He's, he finds space for that ball. As soon as he gets the ball, we give that through. First time, it's his weak foot, but who cares? Give that through to Dybala to run into, and easy does it, 1-0 up. At this point, we are stressed. My opponent's going all out attack at me, and I'm like, okay, this is it. Well, we're gonna go 1-0 down, but as you can see, Vardy plays that off. He assists himself, boys. He passes that off, gives that through to Arthur, and I'm, at this point, I'm like, we just can't break him down. We see Vardy. We do, this is the L1 plus fake shot. We cut inside like so, absolutely send Varane, and go into that finesse shot. His finesse shots are next level. Look at that, boys. Straight, just first time as well. Fake shot in, boom. Fake shot in, boom. One more time. Receives it, actually passes it, assists himself. Fake shot in, and then boom. It's Jamie Vardy, and he's having a party. For me, there's lots of areas to, to, to go over with this card. I feel like... There's better options, like I'll probably rather a Timo Werner, but there's some aspects where Vardy is insane. So, as you can see, the pros and cons screen. The pros, it is his pace, it is going to be his shooting, it is going to be his short passing, not as long passing as short passing. It is actually going to be his dribbling, and by that, I don't necessarily mean his agility and balance, because it's not the highest, but his ball control, his composure, all of that good stuff under the dribbling stat um, is under there as well. And the high, high work rates and his body build. Now, under the cons, it is his free start, free start, and his 70 strength, or well, him being weak, he felt much weaker than he was, boys. He felt much weaker than he was. Now, under dribbling, I don't mean, like I said, a Jillian balance, because he's not the most agile or balanced player, but he is very good, and he feels better than his stats suggest. So you definitely need an engine for the recommended chem style, um, but definitely the Jillian balance is not con worthy, because like I said, he really did, he dealt with it fine, and he was very good um, on the ball. And off the ball, he was very good as well, with his high, high work rates. So his only cons will be his free star, free star, and he gets pushed off the ball so easily. I don't know what it is. Then again, we were coming up against Ferdinand and Varane, so you can't blame us. They are just cheat codes. So, games played, one, goals, one. One and assist one, which is 2.0 goal slash assist per 90 minutes for the man himself, Jamie Vardy. Absolutely sensational record there. And a recommended Kim Soul, like I said, has to be an engine. So overall, boys, this card is a it's a solid card. But am I gonna say he's worth it? I'm going to say for 270k, he's a great card. I do feel like there are better options. You could get a Timo Werner for much cheaper. Personally, I reckon I'd prefer a Timo Werner. But at the end of the day, it's all perspective. If you want a proper target man that is fast, then go for Jamie Vardy. But if you want someone that just blitzes through in behind, then you'll be looking at like a Werner or even just a base card Jesus, something like that. Personally, I'm not going to say he's not worth it because there's a striker for everyone. Some people like that with strikers. But for me, 
he's not the type of player I would voluntarily use, you know what I mean? So for the rating out of 10, 10 being insanely worth it for 270k, he is going to be a 6.5, pushing on, you know, let's be nice, it's a 7, he's a brilliant card, but you have to keep in mind, 270k, I feel like there are some better options out there. So a 7 out of 10, and is he worth it? Like I said, I feel like, yes, he is going to be worth it, because he's a good card, but I think there is better options, if, you, if that makes any sense. Like I said, my reviews are always honest, and I feel like I'd probably be a be bit better off with a normal card Aubameyang, or a normal card Werner, but once again, Vardy, as a proper target man, there's not much cards that will top him in that aspect, because he is a really, really good card, and like I said, in front of net, just everything he touches, I feel like goes in, the 3 star, 3 star, it really does get in the way, whereas, you know, Aubameyang's got 4 star, 4 star, so yeah, that, that comes into factor, I would say, a 7 out of 10, he's worth it, if he's a striker that you would use, if you like like a target man but if you like pace if you like feel them feeling really really good on the ball then i wouldn't recommend them and i'd maybe recommend going for someone else and cheaper as well anyway lads hopefully this video did help you out remember if it did make sure to drop a like and subscribe it's been your boy davis let me know down below what your thoughts are on this card if you have tried him and if you do decide to buy him after this review let me know how it goes it's been your boy davis and until next time lads i'll see you later peace out guys